Today we dive into the fascinating world of genetics and heredity. I'm T from T Academy, and this is part three of Understanding Genetics and Heredity. Imagine a vast library filled with countless books. Each of those books carries unique stories and information, and they're all different, yet they all belong to the same library. That's a bit like our bodies. Our bodies are like the library, and the books, there are genes, each carrying a unique piece of information that makes us who we are. Genetics, in the simplest terms, is the study of these books, our genes. It's a field of biology that helps us understand how certain characteristics like the color of your eyes, the shape of your nose, or even your susceptibility to certain diseases are transferred from parents to their offspring through genes. Now let's talk about heredity. If genetics is the study of the books, then heredity is the process of lending these books from one generation to the next. It's how you inherited those beautiful green eyes from your mother or that distinct laugh from your father. But here's where it gets really interesting. While we do inherit many traits from our parents, not all traits are a direct replica. For instance, you might be the only redhead in your family or the only one who can roll your tongue into a tube. And that's because even though we inherit genes from our parents, the way those genes express themselves can vary, making us unique in our own way. So, in essence, genetics and heredity are the reasons why we share certain traits with our parents, but also have our unique features. They are the invisible threads that connect us to our past, shaping us, and eventually, they will play a key role in the future of humanity as we continue to unravel the mysteries they hold. Now that we understand what genetics and heredity are, let's delve deeper into the role of genes. You can think of genes like the master architects of your body, they are the blueprint that determines your traits, from the color of your eyes to the shape of your nose, even to how tall you will grow. Each of us carries thousands of these genes inherited from our parents, and they are what make us uniquely who we are. Imagine genes as a set of instructions written in a language that only our cells can read. These instructions tell our cells what functions to perform, how to grow, and how to develop. It's like a manual for building a human being from the ground up. Let's simplify it a bit more. Picture a vast construction site bustling with activity. Each worker on the site has a specific role and task. In our bodies, the workers are the cells and the genes are the foremen, providing the workers with the instructions they need to perform their tasks. These tasks could be anything from creating a protein to repairing damaged tissue. Genes don't just dictate how our bodies look and function, they also play a significant role in our health. Certain genes can make us more susceptible to particular diseases, while others can provide us with resistance. Furthermore, genes can also influence how we respond to our environment. For instance, some people have a gene that makes them more likely to enjoy the taste of broccoli, while others may have a gene that makes them more sensitive to the sun. It's fascinating to think about how these tiny, invisible entities within our cells have such a profound impact on our lives. They are the unseen puppeteers pulling the strings and shaping our lives in ways we often don't even realize. Genes are not our destiny. They merely provide a starting point. Our environment and lifestyle choices can also play a significant role in shaping who we are. So our genes are like an instruction manual for our body directing how we should look, grow, and function. So far we've discussed that our genes dictate our traits, but, but is it just our genes or does the environment play a role too? Let's get into that. You see, our genes are like the tuning knobs on an old radio. They can be turned up or down, on or off by environmental factors. This interaction between our genes and the environment is a fascinating area of study known as epigenetics. The term EPI is Greek for over or above. So epigenetics literally means above genetics. To put it simply, while our genetic code lays out the basic blueprint for our bodies, it's the environment that influences how this blueprint is read and implemented. The environment doesn't change the DNA sequence, but it can determine whether genes are switched on or off. Now let's see how this works with some real life examples. Consider nutrition. The food we eat can affect our genes behavior. For instance, folic acid found in leafy greens and citrus fruits can turn off certain genes that might promote diseases like cancer. Similarly, consuming too much of unhealthy fats can trigger genes related to obesity and related health conditions. Next, let's talk about exposure to toxins. 
Harmful chemicals we might encounter in our day-to-day -day lives can also influence our genes. For instance, exposure to tobacco smoke can switch on genes that lead to lung disease. Stress is another factor that can alter our genes. Chronic stress can switch on genes related to inflammation, which is linked to many health problems from heart disease to depression. Physical activity, on the other hand, is a positive influence. Regular exercise can switch on genes that help in fat burning, muscle building, and improving brain health. So, hitting the gym isn't just about looking good, it's about fine-tuning your genes too. Now this doesn't mean that our fate is sealed by our genes or our environment. It's a complex interplay between the two. For instance, someone might have a gene for a certain disease, but if they live a healthy lifestyle, that gene might never switch on. Conversely, someone without that gene might develop the disease if they're exposed to certain environmental factors. So the takeaway here is that while our genes do play a significant role in determining who we are, they're not the whole story. Our environment, our choices, our lifestyle, they all influence how our genes behave. In, in essence, we're not just a product of our genes, but also of our environment. We're a blend of nature and nurture, of genetics and epigenetics. This understanding gives us a sense of empowerment. It tells us that by making conscious, healthy choices, we can influence our genes and our health. So, while our genes provide the blueprint, our environment can influence how the blueprint is read and implemented. We've covered quite a bit today, so let's take a moment to summarize our learnings. We dove into the captivating world of genetics and heredity, the very blueprints of life. We discovered that genetics is the study of how traits are passed down from parents to offspring through genes. These genes, composed of DNA, serve as instructions for building and maintaining our bodies. They dictate everything from our eye color to our susceptibility to certain diseases. Also learned about heredity, the process by which these genetic traits are passed on. It's a bit like a biological lottery, with each parent contributing half of their genes to create a unique combination in their offspring. This is why siblings can look similar but not identical, each carrying a different mix of their parents' genes. The influence of genes, however, is not absolute. We spent a good deal of time discussing the pivotal role of environmental factors on genetic. Environment in this context doesn't just refer to our surroundings like where we live or the climate. It also includes lifestyle factors such as diet, exercise, and even stress levels. Environmental interactions can turn certain genes on or off, a process known as gene expression. This is why identical twins, despite having the same genetic makeup, can end up with different health outcomes. One might develop a disease the other doesn't simply due to differences in their environments and lifestyles. Understanding these concepts is crucial. Genetics and heredity not only impact our health, but they also shape our identities. They play a part in determining our physical traits, our talents, and even some aspects of our personalities. But the role of environmental factors reminds us that we are not simply products of our genes. Our choices, our actions, and our surroundings can have a profound impact on our genetic expression. In essence, we are complex beings, a blend of nature and nurture. Our genes may lay the foundation, but our environment helps to build the structure. This understanding can empower us to make healthier choices, to better understand ourselves and others, and to appreciate the diversity and complexity of life. So, as we conclude today's journey into genetics and heredity, remember this. We are more than the sum of our gene. We are dynamic, ever-changing beings, shaped by an intricate interplay of genetics and environment. While our genes set the stage, it's the interplay with our environment that truly shapes the performance. Don't miss out on the opportunity to visit my Telegram channel and participate in the quiz I've curated to test your knowledge of today's subject matter. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep growing.